All right. Hey guys, what's up? Today I am talking about a few Amazon updates that will have a direct impact on quarter four. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So I'm sure a lot of you guys, uh, you know, have some concerns and are a little bit anxious when it comes to Q4 2020. I mean, I don't know how you can't be right. I mean, Q4 is the biggest time of the year for anyone in e-commerce, right? Um, but obviously this year seems to be a little bit different, right? So always during quarter four, there's a lot of anxiety or stress over inventory, finding the right promotions, getting the right marketing in place. Really, the list does go on and on. And to kind of throw a wrench into that mix, you know, there are rumors going around. Now, I'm saying there are rumors just because our team hasn't yet confirmed this with our Amazon uh, resources. But there are rumors that Amazon is even moving Prime Day further back into quarter four in October. So, you know, what does this mean for, for sellers, right? So if this is the case, if this is true and Prime Day does get moved back to October, that means we're going to have Prime Day, then we're going to have Black Friday, then we're going to have Cyber Monday, and then we're going to have all of December leading up to the holidays. So it is a lot to consider. And it really does just follow 2020 as a whole because there's a lot of uncertainty around it. And, you know, unfortunately, it looks like Q4 potentially has that again. So, you know, Amazon is trying to get in front of this, right? So um, Amazon basically sent out an email to sellers yesterday, uh, letting them know about a few different updates that they have in place to try to help brands selling on Amazon during quarter four. Right. So the first thing that they are going to put into effect, and this is going to start August 16th. So we're about a month away from that is Amazon will be changing the inventory performance index. So the IPI a minimum threshold requirement to 500. So sellers below 500 will be subject to limits effective August 16th through the end of the year. So majority of you guys most likely are above that 500 threshold. Right. And will not be impacted by this change. But you know, for sellers that are below that 500, you will have potentially a lower storage space, but Amazon feels like you will still have more space than you had last year because they have opened up more warehouses and everything like that. So you can improve your IPI and you are able to do that by heading to your inventory performance dashboard. They'll give you tips on what you can be actively doing to improve your overall IPI, which will keep you above 500 and will take you out of potentially being a part of the threshold change that Amazon's talking about. Amazon is also talking about a quantity limit um, at an ASIN level on products and FBA warehouses. So that's similar to what we were seeing when they were rolling, um, when they were having people send inventory back in um, around probably around April and May when they were starting to let people send inventory back in. So it's going to be looked at at an ASIN level and a majority of private products will still have enough inventory space available to cover at least three months of sales. So Amazon is thinking ahead for that. Now, what does this mean? Because it's at a quantity um, I'm sorry, because at an ASIN level, it will be really important that you guys are paying attention to what your quantity limits are per product. Now, how can you find out that information? You're able to see that at your restock report, right? So that's where you would want to check out that information. Your restock report, your restock inventory page is going to be your main place to go to track that information to see what your quantity limits are. Uh, what I would suggest is that you guys at a minimum, for those of you that are having issues with quantity limits at this time or, or will potentially have it in the future, you should be checking that restock page probably daily if you do run into issues with it because Amazon does say that they will be updating that page daily for new ASINs that are available to send inventory in. So um, just thinking about that, thinking ahead, making sure you have something set up in Asana or your Google calendar that will alert you to check your restock inventory page. Now, of course, that's only if you have issues and you guys are in need of constantly checking it. That is something to set up if needed. Now, some good news 
right? So I know those first two things were a little bit rough for some of you. Um, the good news is, is Amazon is bringing back a free removal promotion. So to reduce storage fees for products that have not been selling, you are able to create room for your storage by creating a removal, right? And what's great is Amazon starting actually yesterday, July 14th, a removal free, uh, sorry, it'll be a free re removal, oh my goodness, free removal fee promotion will be rolled out. So you guys won't have to pay to do that removal. Um, that is something you guys want to look into. And of course, to create the removal order, all that stuff, you can go ahead and go to your inventory age and choose which ones you guys want to check that out. So I know that's a lot of information as far as Prime Day goes. I was really hoping I would have an answer for you guys as to if it did get moved to October. We do not have confirmation on that yet. So we're not ready to say October just yet, but when we do have that information, we will let you guys know um, in you know when that does come up. And of course, just you know, talk about leading up to it, what that looks like, how to prepare, everything like that. So no, this is a lot of information, guys. But if you have any questions about this, please let our team know. Reach out to us by going to turnkeyproductmanagement.com slash talk, and we'll be more than willing to chat with you guys just about these different updates, what this means for you. And of course, if you have questions gearing up for quarter four, which looks like it's going to be an even bigger deal than we originally thought, if Prime Day did in fact move, you know, honestly, talk to us, reach out to us, let's plan, let's chat, let's see what we can do to help you guys out. So again, that's turnkeyproductmanagement.com slash talk. I will see you guys here next week. Thank you guys so much. And let me know if you need anything.